Carl, what are what are some of your favourite things about this? Like, I do think the style of it is very interesting. Mm. It's not a standard just sports film or even it's not even like made as a standard sort of late 80s comedy that thing you say where it does cut it has these weird intermissions of almost musical intermission and then there's cuts to the fans talking and you watch it you watch the rise of them and the the mood of the city change over the film and it cuts back to almost give you a little commentary from the people that live there Mm. and it's a really lovely way i think it's a really lovely little um tool that they use and because uh, it was directed by the guy who did The Sting, Do you know oh, The yeah, Sting. It's yeah, great, Rob, it's a brilliant Rob film, a be- and a really stylized. You know, like music's used really well in that, and I think it shows in this. I think even after this, he sort of went a bit more. Like, I want it's weird to say mainstream. <laughs> it's just a major league, but um, but yeah, I think stylistically, I've always loved that, and I feel like that thing of it. Yeah, you do get a sense of Cleveland. So again, like, I watched it as a kid who I didn't know anything about baseball, and I, the only thing I knew about America was from films and again like you say it was all new york or you know some weird big forest area you'd see in another film or (laughs) um los angeles hollywood like beverly hills cop type stuff and um so yeah to see just an industrial sort of run down working class part of america was actually quite refreshing and um and yeah cast wise i just think the cast is excellent i just you know i do have a quite a major charlie sheen soft spot in terms of his acting <laughs> and that period that period you know not his yeah you know, i think he has he has somewhat tarnished his reputation over the years but um but you know he was there was a hot period you know when he's yeah you know, we pop he literally started as that little sort of what cameo in um ferris Bueller, Bueller's day yeah. off was probably where i first saw him and then that little late 80s platoon this he did that weird film, The Wraith. I yeah, remember loving Wall that. Wall Street. That, that was like his first solo. Then Wall Street. Yeah. And then he had this sort of six, seven year hot streak of doing some real seminal, mm. you know, films of that time. But yeah, but I just remember just loving everything about it. And it does have that great climax of, you know, spoiler alert for anyone who hasn't seen it in the last, what, 30 However, four years since it came out. But um, there is a scene at the end when Charlie Sheen is introduced to the fields when he wasn't meant to be playing. And I, that scene still almost makes me cry with excitement. Aww. like Because it just captures how... I remember seeing it when I was a kid and it, they start singing Wild Ooh. Thing. And it's like... Ah! <laughs> and I just... I Even like, I watched it because I've probably not watched it now in a couple of years. Probably about two years, I think, since last time I watched it. And I watched it last night. Mm. And I just, I, I, I still just love it. And that scene comes on and I just feel like it's just, I get tears in my oh, eyes. Oh, wow. <laughs> so it's definitely, oh. so do you think nostalgia's doing a lot of the heavy lifting or do you think you still, you still find a lot? <laughs> and so much heavy lifting. 